Let's look at word problems that use the law of cosines. Two airplanes leave an airport at the same time. An hour later, they're 189 kilometers apart. If one plane traveled 168 kilometers and the other plane traveled 244 kilometers during that hour, find the angle theta between their flight paths. Now the figure over here shows the situation. Let's label the angles and sides with the standard law of cosine notation. In other words, let's let this angle theta that we're looking for be capital A. We'll let this angle of this plane over here be capital B. And we'll let this angle of this plane here be capital C. Now remember, we label the sides opposite the angle with the corresponding letter, but just lowercase. So this is little c. This is little a. And this is little b. So we're looking for angle theta, which is angle A. So the following law of cosine formula can help us. A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of A. And plugging in our information gives us 189 squared is equal to 168 squared plus 244 squared minus 2 times 168 times 244 times the cosine of A. And now let's bring this entire product here to the left-hand side and bring this to the right-hand side, which gives us 2 times 168 times 244 times cosine of A is equal to 168 squared plus 244 squared minus 189 squared. And now dividing both sides by this product here gives us that cosine of A is equal to 168 squared plus 244 squared minus 189 squared divided by 2 times 168 times 244. Which means that A is the angle whose cosine is this ratio here. But moreover, since A is an angle in a triangle, it has to be between 0 and 180 degrees. That is, A is equal to inverse cosine of this whole ratio, 168 squared plus 244 squared minus 189 squared divided by 2 times 168 times 244. And plugging this in our calculator, we get that this is approximately 50.6 degrees. And looking back up here in our figure then, remember A is theta, which is what we were looking for. So theta then, our answer is approximately 50.6 degrees. And this is how we can use the law of cosines to help us solve a word problem. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.